It's Helen and today we are going to continue on our ABG self-care series. I am going to walk you through one of my workouts. I created this workout piecing together my favorite exercises that I picked up during quarantine from people like Blagalatis and Chloe Ting. And honestly, I just want a place to refer back to with my favorite exercises. In terms of what you need to do this workout, all you need is to find a place at home or a soft surface to lay on, like a yoga mat. This workout doesn't require any equipment. It's going to be a quick 10 minute workout, 30 seconds for each exercise. So we're gonna be going through a lot of different exercises and your heart is gonna be racing and you will be sweating. And just as a caveat, for those of you who don't know me out there, I am not a fitness instructor. I am not a health guru. I am just like one of you. Unless you're one of those two. Then you're probably gonna critique this pretty heavily. But if you want the feeling of working out at home with someone like a friend who's going to be hurting and sweating along next to you, I can be that person. It's going to be a hard 10 minutes, but we're going to get through it together. Let's get started. Most exercises will be 30 seconds each with 19 exercises in total. We're going back to back, no breaks and ending with a two minute yoga stretch cool down. Let's get started. First, we're going to start with jumping jacks, one of my favorite exercises to get my heart rate up and my full body moving. At the 15 second mark, we're going to switch to crossing jumping jacks. Just follow along. Up next is high knees. Get your arms pumping and your knees in front of your body. Try to bring your knees at least to your hips. This is another really good warm-up exercise. Up next is squat crunches. Stretch your left leg as far as you can, squat down, then bring your knee to your opposite elbow and crunch. You're working out your obliques, hamstrings, butt, and calves with this exercise. And next, let's bring it to the right side. Squat crunches on your right side. Try and get as low as possible. Ooh, you hear those cracks? Yes, Helen. Woo! Way to not stretch beforehand. Oh, get lower. You get lower. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> Up next, our front kicks touch the ground. I couldn't think of a better name for this one. Let's start with our right leg this time. What you're gonna do here is kick your right foot out, and when coming back down, reach your left foot back and touch the ground with both hands. Now we're going to switch sides and start with a kick with your left leg. Try and keep your core tight. Up next is sumo squats with punches. Keep your stance wide, toes out, abs tight. Use your core to slightly twist your body as you punch. Grr, I wanna go out and see my friends again. Let out your anger, punch! Next up is a roll-up. That's not the official name for it, but that's basically what it is. 
It's a fun one. Use your momentum to roll on your back, kick your legs behind your head, and roll straight back up to standing. Try and keep your core stable while doing this one. And please, don't hurt yourselves. Next is the inchworm. Hinge from your hips, walk your hands out in front of you as far as you can, inch back, and as you reach your toes, momentarily stretch out those hamstrings. Walk back out and repeat. Next is reverse plank and tricep dips. Check your hands to make sure they're directly below your shoulders and lift your butt to keep your body straight. This is a good one for strengthening your core and your glutes. Now let's bring your legs in and dip your shoulders by bending your elbows directly behind you to work out those triceps. Next is mountain climbers. So once you're done, flip your body over. Good job, everyone. We are halfway through. Let's keep going. Woo! Keep your shoulders over your wrist. Mine are a smidge too far up. Keep your back straight, tighten your abs, and kick your knees towards your chest. Go as fast as you can. Next is donkey kicks. Time to work out our butts. For this exercise, start with your left leg. Keep your leg at a 90 degree angle and kick straight up. This works out your glutes and your hamstrings. Next is the fire hydrant, or what I like to call claiming your territory. It's basically like a dog marking a spot. Stay on it with your left leg. Lock your elbows and keeping your legs at a 90 degree angle, rotate your hips out. This will work out your hips and your glutes. Oh, I'm sweating, guys. Now switch to the right side, back to the donkey kicks. Woo! Keep going. Bring those feet. Bring that feet up. <laughs> I'm not sure what you were saying there, Helen, but I think you meant to say bring your legs higher. <laughs> Yikes. And next is the fire hydrant, keeping to your right leg. I feel it more on my left butt cheek than my right, because you're holding up all that weight with your left. Woo! Oh my goodness. Woo! And up next, we have bicycles. Time to focus on those ab muscles. All right, flip over. Quarantine has definitely done a number on us. And you know what? That's okay. Bring your shoulders towards your knees and switch. The more parallel you can keep your legs to the ground, the harder it'll be. So, keep it more parallel to the ground. <laughs> We're more than 75% of the way through. Next is scissor kicks and crisscrosses. Put your hands under your butt to support your back. Keep your legs straight and flutter your legs up and down. At 15 seconds, we are going to crisscross them. Just follow along. I'm breathing, breathing so fast. Who else is out of breath? Oh my gosh. Up next is high plank bird. 
Extend your left leg out and reach out your right arm simultaneously. Hold and switch sides. And last but not least, we have burpees! This one is actually going to be one minute long. That's why I said earlier, most exercises are 30 seconds. Helen, why are you doing this to me? Mm, you did this to yourself, okay? For these burpees, come down, do a small push-up, then jump straight up and come back down. You have only 30 seconds left. Your last 30 seconds. Push through! Woo! Is anyone else hurting as much as I am right now? to say a cool down. Let's start with a downward dog. Pedal your feet by bending at the knee, stretch out your calves, and stretch out your spine. I know not a lot of people like to stretch after they work out, but there are so many benefits of stretching after a workout, like increased flexibility, increased blood flow, and improvement of posture. This cool down is only two minutes total, so take this time for yourself and take this time to heal your body. Now we are going to get into the cobra position. Look up at the ceiling and stretch out your neck and stretch out those abs that you worked so hard on. Now sit back for the child's pose to stretch out your hips and thighs. Oh, this feels so good. Just fall asleep here. Don't fall asleep yet. Feel free to move your hands to the left and to the right to get a deeper stretch on both sides. Let's end on cat cow, releasing tension from your upper back and neck. Breathe in as you look up and breathe out as you look down. Feel free to circle your neck and move your body around. Get it, cat cow? <laughs> Maybe it should be move. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I was really nervous to do this video. Huge props to all those actual fitness instructors out there. It is incredibly hard to try and keep your form good and follow the workout. And I'm also not talking during the workout. So for those of you who do, damn, major props to y'all. This video is part of a self-care series that ABG is doing. So if you haven't caught it yet, check out last week's video from Janet where she led us through an amazing meditation session. I'm not a meditation girl and I really, really enjoyed the way that she put it together. And next week, Mel will also be putting out a video, so stay tuned. Thank you again for joining me on this quick 10 minute workout. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this, if I should do another one of these videos, or if I should just stick to podcasting. Thanks everyone, bye. Oh my god, I'm sweating. Oh. Thank you so much for joining me on my workout video today. I was super nervous, nervous, who's nervous? I'm nervous.